Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Rad Garage. For you first time viewers, welcome. Uh, today's project is tackling my cedar, red cedar wood clad garage door. So this door is a beautiful door. I'm very happy that uh, we went with this door uh, 10 years ago when we built this house, but I will admit that there is some maintenance required to keep it looking good. So in a second, I'll take you out there with my new gimbal and give you a little tour of what's going on with the door uh, because it, there are some issues. Sorry, just found a little piece of dirt on the floor there. Pardon me. So last year around this time, actually it was in May, I used Thompson's water seal on that door. And at first I thought, man, this looks really great. It brought out the natural tones of the wood. But now, as you'll see in a minute here, um, it didn't do very good. This stuff is uh, crap. And uh, it says satisfaction guaranteed, but I'll tell you, I'm not satisfied. So I'm going to go back to using this Cabot or Cabot, I don't know how you pronounce it, Australian timber oil stain. Um, but in order to get to that stage, I need to sand away the outer, uh, the outer layer of, of wood on that door. So I have a uh, craftsman sander that I'll be using. So uh, why don't I go ahead and take you out there now and give you a little tour of what I'm dealing with. So it's sort of a case of uh, good from far, but far from good, uh, especially noticing um, the need for protection here on the lower portions of the door. And I don't really understand why, because this door sees no abuse. Very rarely does it even see direct sunlight. Um, you can see the other day, I just took a little piece of sandpaper just to, just to see what's going on here because it looks like there's like a mildew that has developed in the wood. So that's going to take some, some effort to get rid of. It's, it's particularly bad over here. Now this could have something to do with the fact that uh, there are some water activities that go on in my garage. I hope it's not the case. I hope this comes off easily but you can see that black speckled mildew now there's also weird things like this like i don't know what this is it's like these drips and if i go up here like i don't know if that's just the stain coming back out of the wood i really don't know i don't have a background in painting or anything so i'm just like just your average suburban dad but yeah you could see like there's like drip trails it's really bad here. So I'll take off these. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to keep these. I always say that and then I put them back on, but I kind of like the carriage door look, but it might be time just to get rid of these. And, uh, but yeah, like you can see here, this is, it's, it's terrible and it's never happened before. So I got to blame that Thompson's water seal crap. I tried to, uh, just by hand, I took a little, sandpaper here. I think I'm using 220 sandpaper. Um, you can see some dust there. So this, uh, this door does produce a lot of dust when you sand it. Um, so I'm going to keep the door completely shut and I'm going to keep the seals on this time. I usually knock off these panels, but what that does is it lets the dust get inside the garage and it creates a terrible mess. So I'm going to go grab my sander now. And you can see though, those bottom horizontal panels there's no protection left on those so we'll we'll be going back to that uh, australian timber oil because it it not only looks good it added a way more protection i've never had issues in the past with this kind of mildew developing in the wood all right stay tuned
All right, so a little update here. Thing, things are going very, very, very slowly. This uh, mildew or mold or whatever it is definitely penetrated quite deep into the wood. And uh, to make matters even worse, I think it's this Thompson's water seal crap. It's creating this really gummy, um, what would you call it, gummy residue on the sanding discs. So. All right, I am halfway finished. The, the side on the left of the screen has been sanded down. I'm going to uh, wipe off some of the dust residue. Um, a lot of work, um, but it is satisfying to see that mildew out of the wood. Uh, you can see down towards the right corner there. I don't know how good the camera's picking that up, but those bottom horizontal boards are just sun bleached but but the funny thing is it doesn't see sun it's just just dried out it really offered very little protection um, but enough whining and crying about the Thompsons it was my my mistake I should have known better so I'm going to go play a little baseball with my son and then I'm going to spend a couple of hours doing the right a little bit later on
So I spent the entire day sanding that door, red dust everywhere. Uh, I had to, oh man, I lost track. Like people who do these how-to DIY videos, they there's a special place in heaven for them because they have so much patience. It's, it's incredibly frustrating when you're in the throes of a project and you hit a hiccup, but you still want to continue on with your filming. But I did the best I could. Um, it took me, I don't know, probably five hours of sanding and I'm still kind of not completely satisfied with, with the results, but the, the door looks nice and natural. It's got that blonde uh, tone back. And uh, my challenge has always been how to maintain that natural look. So this Thompson's water seal got me because it said coating resists mildew and UV damage, which is great, which is actually not true. Uh, I've never seen so much mildew on that door. But it says it helps maintain wood's natural color. So that's why I went with that, but I'll never do that again. That stuff is just evil poison. So what I have to do now is I, timing's going to factor in here. I have to find myself a good chunk of time, probably two hours, to go ahead and coat it with this Australian Timbers Oil by Cabot. Um, but yeah, the sanding, I've never had that much trouble sanding. You can see here's all the sanding papers I've got. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh man, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's probably 20 of them there. I've never had to use that many and I tried to capture it, but what happened is the the Thompson's water seal residue would just gum up this sandpaper right after the first pass. So I would have to use a little detailing brush that I have. Thank goodness I have a thousand brushes to loosen this residue and use my um, compressed air to to clean this over and over again. It just added hours to the project. So. I'm a bit beat. I'm going to take tonight off. I, I dusted, I, I blew off the, the dust and I wiped it down using my Christmas tree towels. Man, these things are handy. So I'm going to retire for the evening. Hopefully uh, we've got the right weather conditions tomorrow so I can go ahead and lay a coat of Australian timber oil on this. I took off the edging after I did the bulk of the sanding because in the past so much dust got into the garage. So I used my head this time and I kept it on till the very end and I just did the edges uh, with, with, the, with the trim moldings off and I'll, I'll go ahead and reinstall those tomorrow once, uh, once this is dry. So thanks for sticking with me. Uh, it was a big day and uh, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, here's the big day. I've got to I am going to crack this can of timber oil. I've got a nice I don't know, 3 or 4 inch brush here. I'm going to work my way left to right. I guess the part that makes most sense would be to start at the top and work my way down. It just takes a second for it to even itself out and, and do its thing. For a minute there I was like, this isn't right. I actually love what this oil does for the wood. Love it. Don't love having to climb a ladder every time, but. All right, enough with the commentary. Let's get some, uh, let's get some sweet footage going.
Alright everybody, there you go. There is the finished product. Um, it's not dry to the touch, but it's been about an hour since I finished. And I did have some initial reservations because it had been a while since I'd worked with the timber oil, but it does take a little while to penetrate, but once it does, it just, it's an amazing, amazing look. Just such a wonderful finish. It um, just makes that door pop and come alive. So I uh, thank you for sticking around and watching me uh, do this. If, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. But uh, this is Rick signing off and hopefully you'll all stay rad. Take care.